Welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of July 2020 on customizing the home screen in SAP Business One using the My Cockpit widgets. We are going to cover the messages and alerts, common functions, and the open documents My Cockpit widgets. We will also demonstrate SAP Business One's drag and relate feature and go over some examples. Let's get started. We can customize the home screen in SAP Business One by enabling the My Cockpit setting in our company database. Cockpits give us an easy to manage interactive home screen where we can organize commonly used functions, open documents, and display our inbox to enhance our productivity. To enable the cockpit for your company database, navigate to the administration module, then open system initialization and general settings. Under the cockpit tab, select the cockpit radio button, and then update the general settings. The system will let you know that these changes will take effect the next time you sign into the database. When we log back into the database, you will notice that I already have some widgets set up for my cockpit. Note that once the cockpit is enabled in the general settings, each user can turn on and off the cockpits for their own login by going to Tools, Cockpit, and selecting or deselecting the Enable My Cockpit option. I'm going to close the widgets so that you can see how to make these appear on your home screen. You will notice a new tab along the left side of your screen called My Cockpit. From within this tab, we have a few template options for our cockpit, and by default, the system will use the home template. These are templates that come with the system that are preset based on different areas of common use, like purchasing and sales. If you don't see the other templates, you can navigate to the tools, cockpit, cockpit management, and from here, you can highlight a template and choose Publish to reveal it under the My Cockpit tab. Under the Widget Gallery category, we have a few widget options revealed under the General Widgets folder. We are only going to use the Common Functions, Open Documents, and Messages and Alerts widgets. To reveal these on the home screen, simply click and drag them from the Widget Gallery out onto the home screen. We can then click and drag them anywhere on the screen, and we can resize the widgets to our liking. I like to organize them on the right side of my screen so that they are still visible in the background while I am working in the middle of my home screen in various areas in the system. Let's take a look at the widgets themselves. The Messages and Alerts widget displays our inbox from the Messages and Alerts overview window. If we double click on one of the messages in the widget, it will reveal the Message and Alerts overview window for that message in the inbox. The Common Functions widget allows us to access various functions in the system, like transaction documents, reports, and wizards that we commonly use in the system. To add your commonly used SAP Business One functions, first find it in the main modules menu, and then click and drag it over to the widget, and then release it to set it in the widget. We can even do this for inventory transaction documents like the inventory transfer, wizards like the payment wizard found under the banking module, and financial reports like the customer receivables aging report. We now have direct links to these commonly used functions that we can open directly from the widget. To remove a function from the widget, simply click and drag the function out of the widget and drop it onto the home screen. The Open Documents widget is a useful tool for easy access to a list of all the open documents in the system for the sales and purchasing modules. To reveal the document you want to see in the widget, click on the wrench icon in the top right hand corner of the widget and then select the settings option. From here, use the display checkbox to select the documents that you want to see. Let's select the sales quotation, order and delivery, as well as the purchase quotation, order and goods receipt purchase order as an example. When we select OK, the open document links will appear in the widget. Notice how each link will display a number next to it, which indicates the total open sales quotations, deliveries, purchase orders, and so on that are found in the system. Let's click one of these links to reveal the open items list. Notice that this list is similar to our normal open items list, except it does not contain the drop-down list for changing the document we are filtering the list by. The open items list when accessed from our open documents widget will only display the open documents according to the document link you selected in the widget. When you first enable the cockpit, you may notice that the browser will open by default. 
Since you are most likely going to be using the browser installed on your PC, you can close this by going to the wrench icon and selecting the close option. You can also close the other widgets in the same way if need be. Let's also look at the drag and relate function in SAP Business One. Drag and relate gives us the ability to easily find documents and records related to particular data fields in the system. Let's look at an example of how to use drag and relate to demonstrate this feature. For instance, we want to view our sales orders related to our customer, Joe Company. We first will open the business partner record for Joe Company, and then we want to click the drag and relate tab to reveal some system categories available for drag and relate. In this case, let's expand the sales AR category to find the sales order option. Using drag and relate is simple. Since we want to see the sales order related to our customer record, Joe Company, we would simply click and hold in the business partner code field until the black perimeter box appears, and then drag the field over top the sales order option and release it. Drag and Relate will then generate a report for us for all the sales orders in the system for Joe Company. To filter through the data, we can use the filter icon to narrow down the results by posting date, document number, document total, and others. Let's look at another example. Say you want to view all of your purchase orders related to a particular item. Open the item master record for your item, and then go back to the Drag and Relate tab. Expand the purchasing module to reveal the purchase order option. We can then drag the item code field over top of the purchase order and release it to generate a list of all the purchase orders in the system where this item is found. Let's use the filter option to narrow the data to open purchase orders. Use the status field and under rule select equal to and then type O for open purchase orders under the value column. Select OK to view only the open purchase orders for this item. You can use the drag and relate feature for many different fields in the system to help you find related records and documents, and the filter options will change based on the drag and relate list that you generate. Cockpits and drag and relate are just a couple examples of how you can customize SAP Business One to help you perform your daily workflows more efficiently and easily. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.